Live from Lincoln, this is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 10. Put the gear on, make entry, do, you know, give 120% of what we can to uh, effect a, a rescue. Lincoln Fire and Rescue has been busy lately. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Cousins. After safely rescuing a man from his burning apartment yesterday, LFR says they now have had 11 fire rescues in just over one month. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Abigail Wood spoke with LFR today and joins us now with more in tonight's top story. Well, Nicole, 11 rescues is way more than LFR would usually face in such a small time, but they say they're taking it in stride. Three's on location of a multi-story residential structure. We've got command rescue mode. Last month, Lincoln Fire and Rescue worked with the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office to rescue a group of people from this burning home near 9th and D Streets. In this dash cam video, you can see the ladders, the firefighters, the people trapped on a porch roof. Everyone was rescued, luckily, with only minor injuries. In fact, since March 15th, LFR has rescued at least 11 people from fires across the capital city. It is a lot, generally maybe one, if that much, in a month. Battalion Chief Rick Schneider says when crews pull up to fight a fire where they know a person is inside, everything changes. We want to get them out as soon as possible, so we'll, that first in crew will uh, divert all attention and resources to uh, effecting that rescue. That means everyone from the first engine on the scene focuses on getting that person inside out. Sometimes that involves ladders, other times they have to get more creative. Last week, they had to cut a hole in this house to make a way for the woman inside to escape. But always, rescues are more risky. LFR says that's because there's more at stake. Due to the hazards, uh, smoke, fire, um, lack of oxygen. That's why firefighters go into burning buildings they would otherwise try to put out from a safe distance, because life or death can be a matter of minutes, even seconds. They've been in that environment for a while, basically holding their breath. So um, before they get burned, um, succumb to smoke inhalation, all the other nasty things that are in smoke to uh, get them out of that environment somewhere safe. Schneider says he's proud of the 11 rescues, but adds that local firefighters see it as just another day on the job. They're making a difference every day. So it's a great team to be a part of. LFR says it's a good reminder to make sure you have working smoke detectors and a plan to get out of the house in case of a fire. A great report tonight, Abigail. And those 11 rescues don't even take into account all the animals they've saved as well. That's right. There were actually seven animals saved from a house fire just last week and some more pets saved just yesterday. We thank them for their service. Thank you, Abigail, for the story.